You may have been told that in Iceland we eat a lot of shark. God, it does f***ing <laughs> stink. <laughs> oh my God. And you may even have been told that it's a delicacy. An amazing delicacy from Iceland. It's basically rotten shark. And perhaps you have seen videos of people literally getting sick trying to eat this thing. What you have been told is an exaggeration at best. We don't eat a lot of shark. People who do eat it are only doing so to show you how tough they are, I guess. You have to eat it without being sick. And that is the sort of true definition of a proper man. But if you're being dared to eat this, then please don't. And not for the reasons you might think. Recently, I got the chance to cook TV dinner on a geothermal vent for a two-time Emmy award-winning journalist, George Selinger. It's about as getting close to these creatures as you can, because if you do that, fear turns into respect. Now, George is an ocean conservationist who works for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation. And I know what you're thinking, he's an ocean conservationist. Of course he's gonna say, don't eat shark. But his reasons aren't all sentimental, so bear with me. But we talked about the Icelandic shark, or the Greenland shark to be more accurate, over some traditional Arabic coffee, courtesy of Mike and Jody's travel club. Thank you, guys. I've spent a lot of time with sharks around the world. They are amazing creatures. A lot of people don't understand them. And here in Iceland, you have one of the most magnificent sharks out there, the Greenland shark. A hundred years for this animal to reach sexual maturity. So if we are fishing or hunting them now? If you're hunting them now, well, I mean, there's two, two sides to that coin. If you, if you hit them before they reach sexual maturity, you're, you're not gonna be able to regenerate that species. But if you're, if you're taking a fish out of the water after it's lived a life of 500 years, I mean, I would say it deserves to continue to live. Plus, you know, there, there's a lot to be said for an animal that has been in the ocean la that long because toxins develop in their meat. It's the reason you don't want to eat a, a, a lot of shark species because apex predators accumulate heavy metals, toxins, things like that that you don't want to put in your body anyway. It's just educating people as to as to um, why this animal serves a critical role. It, it's because it, you never want to encroach on something that is 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 tradition. But when, when it really makes no sense for an animal that is that's threatened already on the planet, you really want to protect them. It's just getting warm. Yeah, I guess it's not going to heat it enough. Jesus, it's hot. It's got like a soupy. It's like somebody was cooking soup there before. <laughs> I, yeah, it tastes a little like lamb. I like the layered mineral. Yeah, it does, <laughs> definitely it's got a bunch of minerals in there. You yeah. can see the bubbles just popping in there. This thing has changed color, shall we say? Oh, oh yeah. I think it may. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're saying compliments the lamb very nicely. <laughs> yeah. We are blessed that we live on a planet where we still have a chance to see animals like this.